Hi everyone, my name is Ben. I'm lead educator at LumenSwap and the founder of Bullring Crypto. This video is going to help new people set up an XBull wallet. The XBull wallet is a browser extension wallet and it's one that uh, allows you to interact with the Stellar network, specifically the LumenSwap interface, which you can see on the screen in front of you. So if you are new, you will see here there are a range of different wallets, okay? All of these browser extension wallets, and the way that we get additional wallets such as these is we come to this little jigsaw piece, and you can see it's highlighted extensions. We click onto extensions, manage extensions, and we go to the web store. When we're in the web store, we will search out Xball. That's the wallet we're after, Xball Wallet. And this is the one we need. Yeah, the little uh, logo, the purple and black logo. So we're going to click onto that. We're going to add it to our Brave. We're going to add extension. And that's been added. Now, if we click onto the little jigsaw piece again, we can come down. And we click onto this little pin. That's then going to appear up here so that we can see it every time we're on this browser, which is useful, right? When we click onto the XBull logo, yeah, on our uh, on our browser there, click onto it, and it opens in a separate tab. It just opens at the back here, look. Okay, let's move that back up just enough. There we go. We've got a few different options available to us. In my previous video, I showed you or talked you through the Connect hardware wallet. We used the Ledger Nano S, connected that to the Stellar network. We can import a secret key. This is a series of numbers and letters uh, that you can copy and paste, or you can do your mnemonic phrase, or your private uh, seed phrase. You can do it that way. We are going to set up a new wallet as if we are brand new into crypto, we've never dealt with anything before, so this is a new generation. So we're gonna click onto that, and you can see right here, I have now got this, this is one actually a 24 word seed phrase, okay? So we've now got this 24 word seed phrase. I um, highly recommend here that you write this down. So what I'm gonna do, for the purpose of speed in this and because it is only a demonstration wallet i'm just going to take a picture of this um, on my phone so that i know the sequence i need to put it in because i'm not going to use this again this wallet okay but you would need to write this down copy and paste this maybe put it onto a uh a USB stick, keep it somewhere secure, write it down and keep it somewhere away from your crypto dealing. So out of your house, in a safe, safety deposit box, something like that, okay? Keep it away, especially if you're gonna be dealing in large sums of crypto, but it's a good habit to get into anyway, is to keep that nice and safe. We're gonna now click continue, and then it's gonna ask us to set up a password. So we can set up our password right here. It can be anything that you want. Um, Okay, I'll just put a random word in there and then we continue again and now it's going to ask me to write the mnemonic phrase so you can you could have copied and paste copy and pasted that um, straight into there what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video while I write this out off my photo and then I will come back to the video when I've written this back in and show you the next step again so I've done that so I've entered the 24 words in the sequence that uh, they appeared and then I re-entered the password that I decided on. So I've done those two things and, and then click next and then we've got this screen that you can see in front of you. Your account has been created. So we can now receive funds. Every account in the Stellar Network needs at least one XLM to be created. So we need to send one XLM over to this wallet and then it will have what's called a trust line set up. This basically means that we can start interacting. We can do uh, transactions, we can send, we can receive, we can add uh, custom assets, and we can do all different sorts of operations. So we need to be uh, sending the one XLM in. Now, you've got a range of different options. If you already have a Stellar wallet, 
you can send from there. So you might have a browser extension wallet such as Rabbit or such as Freighter. Um, you know, you might be using your um, your ledger. But that's absolutely fine. You can do any of those. Or indeed, you can send an XLM or several from an exchange, centralized exchange. It might be Binance you're sending it from. It might be one of the uh, the other exchanges that uh, Lumen swaps LSP tokens listed on. So there's many of those where XLM is uh, is traded. You can withdraw withdraw your asset to this wallet address. So to receive funds, what we need to do is we need to click onto the button. You can see here now we have an address with some stellar um, operations such as the centralized exchanges we need to uh, have a memo as well but this is not necessary for this process we're doing we can just copy this address so you can see here we can copy it this way or indeed we can um, we can use this QR code so if I just copy it like this and then I copy it we're good I would always double check this you know I always try and remember the first four and the last four so that it's the right address that we're using. So in the next part of this video, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to send a couple of uh, XLM tokens, so Stellar's native token, uh, across to this address and we'll show you how that will then populate into your um, browser, your Xball browser wallet. So I'll be back shortly. Hi again, this uh, is now the next part of the tutorial where we have sent 10 XLM over to our XMall wallet. Right here, we now have the balance that's showing to us. So we have the XLM that we've sent. Remember, it said to us that we need to have one uh, in reserve to keep that trust line open. So we've got an available balance of just nine. And it's quite clean you know, looking wallet, uh, very easy to use. We've got send and receive. So that's a, a step above the freighter wallet because it's a 24, um, a 24 word uh, seed phrase that we've put in. So you've got the security of that, of having your own private seed, but also you can send and receive, whereas freighter, you would have to go to a third party. What I mean by that is that you can't actually send any transactions from within the uh, the pop-up from within the the freighter wallet without having to go somewhere else and one of those places you can go is in the wallet section of lumen swap so you can do it within the interface itself but you'll see there that we can do both from within the wallet here so for me that's a tick in the box i like the fact that you can do it all from within the wallet we will need to add custom assets. One thing that trips many new people up when they say, I can't receive a, um, a custom asset. And it's because they haven't actually added it to their end. So let's just say you win an incentive from me and I'm trying to send you 500 LSP tokens. What we often get is people say, oh, you know, I can't, I, I can't get them. How do I get them? You add the custom asset your end, then I can send them my end. If you don't have the custom asset added, even if you don't have a balance, then I can't send them. We need to keep adding each individual custom asset to make sure that uh, you're able to receive them from our side. And that can be any stellar asset at all across the board. It can be Doggit, it can be um, LSP, it can be XXA, whatever it might be. You need to add all these. So we're going to click onto that. And it says asset, right code here, issuer, right code there. So we're going to put our number, okay, or sorry, our ticker in here. And this is going to be the asset issuer um, reference numbers numbers and letters right you'll see it in a second it will make sense and then this is an optional one limit amount okay so we're not going to bother with this one but you'll see here adding an asset requires you to lock 0.5 xlm so when you add these then you need to keep locking and i would say it's always good to have approximately 10 xlm today's prices it's over three dollars but three dollars worth of xlm just sat in your wallet at all times so that you can add these the next stage of this operation then is can we're going to go across we're going to open a new window we're going to go to stellar expert then we're going to search out the lsp codes so we're going to search the LSP token. 
We're going to come down. And you're going to see here that this one is the correct one, lumenswap.io. If we go through all of these, for one, none of the URLs are correct. This one here is sneaky, but if you notice, this one is learning, learn and swap. They've made it, the scammers have made it, so it looks like an M because of the R and the N. Uh, but we can see here, there's only a few funded trust lines and a few payments. This is not the right one. This one is the right one. And the way that I will double check that with LumenSwap is that we've got, you know, these thousands of funded trust lines, thousands of payments and, and thousands of trades. With the others, it might just be dozens or single figures. You can see this one stands out against all of the others. And there's a heck of a lot, look. There's a heck of a lot that have been, um, that are scam tokens that have been added here, which is a, a shame, but that's just the way of the world that we live in in crypto. So we need to make sure it's the right one. We know that the asset issuer code will, let me just pull that up for you, first of all. So let's go to details of this. The asset issuer code here for the correct Lumen Swap token is begins with golf R alpha bravo seven gab seven and it ends in 24 whiskey kilo 24 wk this is the correct one this is the one that you are after so you need to now take this asset issuer code we're going to copy that we're going to come back to our wallet there it is we're going to add our asset. We're going to put the code in there. So the code is LSP. That's the ticker. And then the issue, and we write the asset issuer in there. Ensuring it's the Golf Alpha Bravo 7 24 Whiskey Kilo issuer identification number, right? We don't need to do the uh, limit amount, that's optional there, we're gonna add the asset. So the asset, we're gonna change this around, we're gonna have a look to um, make sure that everything is uh, as it should be. Transaction source, asset, uh, code, LSP, GAB7, 24K limit, yeah, fee, accept. So we're going to sign that with my password. We've checked it off. Okay, that's being done and it's added. So now we've got the ability to interact. We can accept the LSP token. We can send the LSP token. As you can see, it's cost me a very, very small amount of XLM to execute that very very small amount indeed you know just as an operation on the network so that's i think for about three and a half dollars you can do one million operations on the stellar network so it's you know negligible how much that's actually cost but you can see that it's popped up now and it's appeared so we are now officially good to go if we scoot across let's just uh, close that wallet out for a second so if we just uh, click off that and we come on to the swap we can now connect our wallet and we can come on to the X ball as you can see there, the fourth one down. It's going to connect us up. We're going to accept that connection. And then we're going to see in the top right here that we have this address that's appeared. This means that we're connected. It's showing that we're connected to that wallet. We haven't got any balance there, but if we were to put the XLM in, it would populate the XLM balance for us. And that's it, guys. That's everything done. You can now send in very simply. I mean, if we open this, it does appear again. We can take our address. We can receive from the exchanges, as I said, so we can send our XLM into this wallet. We can then interact with the Lumen Swap, as you can see, interface right in front of you. So we can buy our LSP right here, which is going to help us qualify for those trading rewards every month, potentially one of a hundred prizes of 12 and a half thousand LSP every month to the ones trading above 10,001 LSP tokens that is in both buy and sell. So that could be something that, you know, you're looking to 
try and qualify for. And of course, the holders reward as well of 10,001 LSP tokens. If you've got those and you hold those, you're going to be paid a monthly dividend as well. There's a monthly snapshot. So that's something exciting. This allows you to do that. So it, and it gives you the ticket to, for the entrance into the game, doesn't it, so to speak? We have the wallet set up. We have the um, LSP asset added, you know, the custom asset. And you can go through and you can add plenty of different custom assets in there, all of the different stellar assets that you own, as I've already said. Uh, but that's it. That's as simple as it is. Final point, talking of security, ensure that that, you know, very uh, important 24-word seed phrase, ensure that that is protected. Yeah, it's absolutely critical. I would even protect it from your other half, just in case, as you know, you fall out in the future and they run off with you know all of your crypto asset that's not going to be a good day for you so i would keep it personal to yourself that's what i would really recommend no matter how trustworthy you think people are and like i say safe safety deposit box that's it because security is the number one focus for all of us in crypto we should not be you know uh, paying lip service to that turning a blind eye to it security should be the number one thing we should know exactly how these wallets work exactly how to transact before we start moving up into tens hundreds thousands tens of thousands of dollar transactions okay guys i hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching as always any questions put them in the comments and i'll be happy to answer those for you take care and have a wonderful day